Well, good day for milling. It's actually a little bit chilly, but I wanted to show everybody, I got some epic logs here. Um, this one's gorgeous. Yeah, it really doesn't get any better than this for a log on the mill. About 20 inches there. Seventeen here. Eighteen foot eight. Again, ends are painted. Eighteen foot eight long. Which means you get an eighteen and a half foot beam. I mean for a ridge beam or something like that, it just doesn't get a whole lot better. It's beautiful. Um, so hopefully we're going to get this milled up, but I wanted to go over how I'm getting this on the mill. So everybody knows now I've got the, the rails that are upgraded, 30 foot long. I've made sure they're level today because they do tend to change a bit. Getting the log on is pretty easy. All you got to do is have ramps and a stop, a triangle. And I don't know how much this log weighs. I'm going to guess somewhere in the neighborhood of about 1,500 pounds. Uh, probably 1,000, 1,500 pounds, somewhere in there. It's heavy. So, I'm just one guy. And ideally, actually, you want a longer PV than this, I think, for a log this big. You really want something that's a foot. But this is what I got. doing this, you want to make sure that this is good this direction. It's not going to be off the bung on one side or off on the other. It's got to be good likewise, which is the trickiest part because I don't really have any good equipment to move it one way or another once it's on the mill. It would be nice to have a winch on one end or another, but I don't have that. So what I got, so you have to make sure it's aligned properly before it goes up and on. <clears throat> the biggest issue is if we align it too far that way, it's not going to fit because the mill has got to have run out. pretty darn close to ready to mill, but, you know, if you're really going for a super straight beam, if you try to cut it now, the center of the log on this end is higher than the center of the log on that end. So you really want to lift that end. This is 20, that's 17. So you want to lift that end about an inch and a half. So how do we do that? Work smart, not hard. Like that. 
problem is then putting putting something under there. Bark is off, make sure the ways are clear. And now you can measure to the center of the log. Roughly. Nine and a half inches up, somewhere around there. centered in the cut. We're still going to be taking more off this end than that end because this is the bigger end. But at least the center of the log is centered in the cut. So we can make a flat on it. Probably if you took three inches off of here you'll take an inch and a half off of there, something like that. And that way you, when you rotate it, the next cut that you make you don't have to shim it. At least for that particular next cut you won't have to shim it. It'll make sure that the next cut is basically identical, assuming the log is perfectly tapered and perfectly round and all that stuff. The other thing you have to look for is cracks. Now, the end of the log here is not cracked. So if you look at the end of the log, it's not cracked. It is. It does have a taper on it there, but other than that, there's no crack. So you don't have to worry about that when you're trying to when you're trying to take a, a section. You don't have to worry about uh, the crack. Because of that felling notch that's there, you're going to want to take the beam probably out of here all the way down widthwise. That way you have the best beam. So I can probably take quite a bit out of here and it's not going to be a problem. And I, I could take I take a little bit out of here and take the most out of this knot piece because that's that we want to get rid of while keeping the log centered. There's lots to think about when you mill. So let's get to milling and see where this turns out. So I've just spent the last however many hours organizing the rest of my lumber just so I can have a little, a little bit of space to put these pieces. Anyway, uh, I'm going to make a couple of cuts here and we're going to see what we end up with. The idea for the first cut, and you can see in the corner of the picture there, is to just create a flat and once I have that then I can flatten the other side a little bit and then we can go from there and see what this log really is going to give us. Let's take a cut. I am going to run the hose on this, <clears throat> the lube, uh, at least when I'm cutting through the outer part of the log.
as well. We go through an 18 foot log. Take too big of a pace. You're not going to be able to lift it. Actually, more waves than I'd like, which means I gotta change out the blade. So you can leave it like this at roughly a 90 and make another cut, or you can take it down to the flat, which is what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn this so that the newly freshly cut side becomes the bottom. So I might take a cut of, well, let's see how much I can get. Don't want to hit these. Don't worry about too much about cutting off this side because, because of the angle here. Now looking down this, this side is really straight. And this way kind of curves a little bit. I'm going to focus on taking off very little off that side and more off of that one when I tilt this up. This is a very expensive log. Most of the stuff, most of the pine that I get, I don't pay for. Because people are trying to get rid of it. But if you're, you're going for a log that's 18 feet, you need somebody to physically bring it to you. And therefore, you're going to pay for delivery. Most people don't have equipment to transport longer logs. So, let's take a cut. You get the idea. Just finished the cut. I think I might have hit a nail. found a twisty type nail in there and I broke my screwdriver doing it yikes hopefully I don't find any more of those better give the uh, the outside of this a good look before I make another cut so here's another clue so let's look at what's going on here They've made this cut. Now, I'm going to assume that this was actually felled. This is a felling cut, I think. So, where is optimal height for putting a sign? About five feet up. So, there you go. Pretty much for, uh, for guys that go around putting signs up on trees or whatever with nails, uh, they do it somewhere around uh, chest high. So... Right about where you'd, you know, if you think bam, 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 that's where you're going to find something. So, hopefully it won't affect the lug too much. But, wasted a $16 blade, one nail. Wow, those are hard. That's a hard nail. 
All right, there you have that. Hit the nail. I don't know if you can see that, but the teeth are gone. Gone. Look how many teeth it took out. Goodbye blade. That can't even be resharpened. From here, all the way around to here. <laughs> wow. One nail. One nail? Did all of that? That's, I, I don't know. I usually go through three or four before I have to even just sharpen it. I, I don't... One nail? <laughs> Great. Well, let's remove that. Let's turn this up and take a cut. So now we've got two issues. This end is actually kind of rocked up a little bit, and the whole thing is bowed like this. So I'm going to take a pretty significant cut on this side, or I could just lift that end again. So depending on what you're going for, that was probably slightly too much of a bite, but that's not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is the nail. The nail. One, two, three, four. Four. Uh, possibly five. That's terrible. That just ruined, ruined another good blade. A perfectly good blade. A perfectly good blade. Wow. So we can get the nails out. Let's see if a beam turns out of this. I don't know. <laughs> Great. Well, it's a new day. 
I pulled five nails out of this side of the log. Completely ruined that one nice blade. So now I actually put an old blade on the mill to make a couple more cuts. Just on the odd chance that I pull more of these things out. Um, I've never run into this many nails uh, in any piece of wood. Usually one, two, maybe three. But this is a lot. And of all pieces, this, this piece is worth it. So, you know, you keep going. Um, but that's pretty discouraging. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, let's trudge on and have some fun milling. Going to turn the log over, uh, make another cut, and then take slices and get some beams. <laughs> 